Hello there, it's your hands of whiskey lore. Time for another whiskey tasting. Today, doing a tasting of a Jack Daniels limited edition distillery series. Actually, just went by the distillery the other day on my way back from my trip to Kentucky and then back through Tennessee, and they were having their barbecue festival contest. So I got into Lynchburg. I was going to go actually stop by. There's another distillery in Lynchburg. Tennessee, besides Jack Daniels, brave as they are, it's actually a winery and distillery, but the traffic was insane in this little town. So I said, no, no, not going to do it. So I didn't get a chance to go by the distillery, but they were nice enough to send this to me. So the opportunity is here for me to taste this. This is a straight Tennessee rye whiskey finished in high toast maple barrels. So this is whiskey that was uh, basically finished in maple barrels. And you may know from one of my earlier videos that I did a tasting here on this Tennessee Tasters Barrel Proof Rye. This was when C Chris Fletcher was helping Jeff Arnett. Now they've changed the name from the Tennessee Tasters to the distillery series, change the bottle some. They're actually the same size. They look like they're a different size, but of course this is a little bit thinner. They're both 375 mil, which is half of a fifth. And this is actually a whiskey that is being chosen by, because this is a uh, series number eight, selection number eight, released July of 2022. 101 proof, and it is the assistant master distiller, Lexi Phillips' husband, get it right, who chose the whiskey for this particular release. Limited release, you can only really get it in Tennessee at select stores and at the distillery. So this follows their standard rye recipe, which is 70% rye, and then 18% corn and 12% malted barley. And this is a whiskey that when you read maple, you really almost immediately want to jump in and start looking for that maple character. From my understanding, they basically are toasting these maple barrels which is going to give you less of a char kind of a thing. I actually get a cola note out of this, along with oak and rye. So the oak really is present there. For those that like the Jack Daniels rye, this is, this is right in your neighborhood. There's a little meaty character to this that I also detect in my Old Forester 100 signature, actually. And there's a nice little bit of campfire smoke. This is not a peaty smoke. Of course not. This is Jack Daniels. Instead, it just really reminds me of burning leaves in autumn. Really kind of nice, actually. And maybe that is the effect that the maple barrel is having on this whiskey. Because I don't pick up anything really sweet in here beyond maybe that cola note. This is going to run you about $41.99 for a bottle. And like I say, only available in very limited quantities. Sorry, my throat is still, still not 100%. I think the thing is, this used to not bother me as much in the past, but I think it bothers me now because I'm sipping whiskey more. You know, I sip whiskey daily now as part of my job. <laughs> I'm not complaining. But... Uh, it really puts emphasis on the fact that I need to hydrate. And I made a rule with myself. That I have to drink two of these filled with water each day to make sure. And then I can drink more than that. But I, I need to drink at least 1,200 milliliters, 40 ounces of water every day. Do I? No. <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not trained for drinking water. 
So the fact that I didn't drink whiskey for 20 years probably saved me a lot of sore throats or uh, grieving with the uh, annoyance of the of the throat. Let's jump in and taste. How about it? Cheers. Mmm. Nice mouthfeel to it. There is a sweetness. There's definitely a sweetness. I guess if the maple is showing itself anywhere, it's probably showing itself here, just in the sweetness that it brings. Nice peppery note coming through on this whiskey. It's got some heat to it. 101, you know, that's going to help. 50.5 ABV for this particular whiskey. Um, I get a little minty character in there as well. On the finish, it actually goes to the cola note. The rye is less prevalent, maybe sitting on the back palate just a little bit, but it kind of thins out a little bit, which is interesting. Still very pleasing, but it's, it's one of those things where you go, okay, maybe I need another sip because the finish has kind of left me a little bit there and time to go in and sip a little bit more. I want to add a little water to this. I haven't tried this yet that higher proof. I'm sure it can handle it. I wanted to see if it brought out any additional maple character. Mm. More of a wood note coming through. And again, that, that meaty character in there, but it's interesting. They actually sent a little press release along with this, and they mentioned honey and vanilla. I don't get them. Um, notes of maple, raisin, pralines, and butterscotch with a long finish of toasted marshmallow. I'm batting zero for a hundred on this one. <laughs> I'm not thinking... Maybe I get the butterscotch on the palate. Let me try another taste. I think as a scotch drinker with sherry whiskeys, that's why I'm not really catching this raisin note because I know what I taste in a scotch with a raisin note, and that's not what I'm finding here. So sometimes... It can be a person's palate and their experience with a particular, with a raisin in a particular scenario. And mine is probably more towards the sherry side of dark fruit and that, uh, that raisin note. And I don't necessarily get that there. Water didn't really do much to it other than probably thin it down a little bit more. Uh, but I think the flavors that I got initially are still the flavors that I'm getting here after doing the tasting. I got a second bottle, and the second bottle is actually just toasted oak. So think of it as Jack Daniels rye double oaked. And I will be doing a tasting on that down the road. But uh, for now, this is, you know, I really do like the Jack Daniels rye. And this is very expressive. And I think it's a very good whiskey. I, um... I don't know how different, really. It's probably got a little bit more of a sweet character to it, and that campfire is really nice uh, over the standard rye bottlings. And so, I mean, I think it's worth a shot. If you are a fan of Jack Daniels rye, then I think this will be right up your alley. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to hydrate some more so I can actually get back to doing my podcast because... I know you guys probably think I'm disappearing and, and uh, you know, I was going to put it out today, but I just couldn't get the voice in gear completely. So I'm going to keep working on that. But until next time, cheers and slan java. And make sure to uh, subscribe and like if you enjoy the videos. Butterscotch, vanilla, cola. I'm getting cola. Which cola would be the oak and vanilla. So I guess I am getting vanilla.